Hi, I welcome you to today's lesson. We are going to look at two beautiful cones here, which are uh, used in such a way that one of them is on top, the other one is at the bottom. So, in particular, we are going to look at the sections that we are likely to have if we were to incline the, the plane, which is blue in color here, at, at different angles, in such a way that it had to cut the cone or these cones at different angles. What kind of sections would we come up with? Uh, so now that's what we have to look at. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, to describe the sections of the cone and you should be able to call them by names. You should be able to tell this, we are dealing with this conic section, that conic section. And then in the videos that are yet to come, I will actually walk you through ways and means by which you can actually graph those parts that we are yet to look at. So without any further ado, let's get into things. So if we were to move this uh, plane and we, we were to incline, at, incline it at that angle in such a way that it were to cut the bottom, the bottom cone, at that angle. I hope you're able to see this green green structure here. This one is doing as the conic section. Now what do we call this conic section? If you've seen uh, uh, the other topic where I talked about a parabola, then you would actually be able to tell this is a parabola. So if one of the examples of the conic sections is a parabola. Let's see, let's see what other sections, conic sections that are we likely to have if we happen to incline this plane at these other angles. Okay, so we'll move it on until we happen to incline it at that angle. What is it that we really have now? What kind of a conic section is this one here? Yeah? What we have is uh, called, it's more like an oval shape. Uh, it's, it's actually an oval shape here that we have. So this one is actually called an ellipse, an ellipse, an ellipse. So this is an ellipse. But not all oval shapes are ellipses. But every ellipse, any ellipse, any ellipse is actually an oval shape. So if we happen to move this plane, and I happen to incline it at a different angle, let's say we happen to incline it in such a way that it happens to be a parallel to the base of this bottom cone. What is it that we are going to have by the end of the day? So let's take a look at this one. Okay, beautiful. So there we go. The, the plane is actually uh, parallel to the base of the cone. So now, what shape are you seeing here? What you're seeing is actually a circle. So uh, a circle is one of the conic sections. So I've mentioned of three conic sections, we are remaining with one. So we have the circle as one of the conic sections, and then we have an ellipse. You see that oval shape? That's an ellipse. And then when we happen to incline the plane, check that one out. We have that shape that's a parabola. And then when we happen to incline it in such a way that it happens to be parallel to the edges of the cones, then we're going to have those double shapes. You see that one? There's one, this one which is on top here, and the, the other one which is at the bottom. This is called a hyperbola. So what we have actually looked at are the conic sections. So uh, examples of the conic sections include the hyperbola, this one here. That's just a summary of what we've looked at so far. We have a hyperbola, we have uh, a parabola, then we have an ellipse, then we have a circle. Well, thank you so much for watching. I urge you to like the video if you've learned one or two things. Smash like button if you aren't yet following me, follow me up. And uh, remember to leave a comment that helps with algorithms. 
don't miss on the next videos that are, I'm going to create very soon. Where I'm going to talk about how you can graph all these conic sections that I've talked about and uh, how you can solve problems involving these conic sections. I remember when I was at the university, because I never did PLS when I was in, this, in secondary school. I, I learned of this when I was at the university and uh, there wasn't a very, good, a very good explanation that could help me have a grasp of what these really were. So it took me to download a couple of documents and then I had to watch a couple of vids for me to understand these things. So uh, I, I'm not doing all this for the sake of helping some person out there who may not have nobody to help. So don't miss on the next videos where I'm going to demonstrate on how you can actually graph all these comic sections that I've just talked about. Well, thank you so much. Share the video and then remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Stay blessed.